Well, second part of the second episode, my Shandwa, my good names are super away. And we have this lovely couple. What do you want to do? We want to do a couple of detention centers. Yes, a couple of detention centers. I love to hang out with my Zangu. We are realizing in the Republic of Ireland. It's another country. So they asked the Kenyan government, come on, deport Kenya. Kenya, what can you cut out? Haha, <laughs> 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 kwa detention ndio nilijua niko na call uh -huh. eh nikaanza kuhubiria watu huko kwa detention wana feel wale wana deportiwa au wanarudishwa bila kitu wana that it's the end of life and i remember agada aliniambia huko ai wewe hakuna kule unaenda nijui ile moto nimekuwa nayo sasa ya kuhubiri uh -huh. mimi ndio nawapatia hope na mimi ndio na need hope so mm. god spoke to you right there right there and then i started my assignment right there and then within a few days i was released nikapelekwa and siku rilizwa nilipasiwa into the republic of ireland government wakaniweka wakanipeleka heathrow airport nikapea na kwa police wa wa republic of ireland because according to me i was a criminal how did nilifikaje ireland na mkata si gani na wakicheki hii na wacheki za kenya as the end poa so police wakapelekwa nikapelekwa sasa kule boko shanti kuna shanti bado sasa kule kule ina shanti kule na zichoma tu mabangi na ma, na kukuaka eh, na madem saa nilikuwa ni kuna kitu yote ilikuwa na skati nilikuwa avuka nayo to one point within 24 hours eh, walikuwa wamevaa skati one within 24 hours eh, sasa nilikuwa nimepita nao unajua ni kama spirit vile umesema unaopata huyu hata akiwa muindi akiwa mchainis akiwa mu, 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 mu West Africa mu East Africa bado unataka Asa uh, at one point nikalala na msichana ametoka Zimbabwe. Alafu nikasiku anajua kwa na AIDS. Nikalala naye alafu that time ikuwa kama siku hizo unajua with the same day kama uko positive ama negative. Sasa ilikuwa wiki mbili of waiting. And within that time sina faith jokoka. Nilikuwa nimeanza kugawa vitu zangu na kuambia watu kwa heri. But at that point bado unafanya kazi kama dereva wa basi. Bado unafanya kazi lakini ilikuwa unafanya kama dereva wa basi. Alafu sasa wakaanza is uh, system mkienda asubuhi mnapimwa mkojo for drugs and alcohol. Sasa vile nilipopimwa eh, mkojo wangu ikaonyesha ikakuja positive eh, cannabis bangi na ikakuja niko na pombe na cocaine. How are you surviving? How are you putting your life together? Unajua sasa ile ni addiction Na addiction Una need to get money To feed this addiction Kwa sababu sasa this time Nikuwa natuma pesa nyumbani Alafu I was earning very well I was earning kama kila wiki Nikuwa na a thousand pound Which is about a hundred and 140,000 shillings. So nilikuwa natuma pesa na pia mimi nilikuwa na habit ya cocaine ningetumia kama 20,000 shillings every week. Ningetumia kama 15,000 na bangi. Ningetumia pombe ningeingia pahali watu walikuwa wajua bas. Leo tutapewa. Sheria I could spend even 500 pound in one night. Yes. Mm. Yes. 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 But sasa by the grace of God result ikakuja nikawa niko negative. Hata kama wewe unatutizama na wewe ni mgonjwa uko positive God can heal you. Amen. And we serve he can heal you. Yes. Sasa um, uh, at this time uh, nikawa niko negative so kwa hivyo nilikuwa nina uoga sana nilikuwa in a place where nilikuwa na uoga sana na sasa hapa nilikatupa kazi ile ya dereva wa basi kwa sababu hata ule daktari aniuliza how are you able to stand with all these drugs that are showing in your at what unaweza kusimama vipi because the uh, the level of drugs and the alcohol in my my kwa mkojo was very high 
So watch a let alone driving a bus yeah. and you, so at that point uh, the level of drugs in your Yeah. Mm. Was, quite was quite But you get to buy a house. Yeah, I get to buy a house. Uh, my first house I bought I uh, was uh, around 25. Eh nilikuwa nimedunua nyumba but just nimedunua. And the reason nilikuwa nataka kuwa na nyumba ni I always dreamt of having a house imetengenezwa na mawe. Yeah. So hiyo kitu ilikuwa in me inani ina inani ina. Yes, yes. Sasa um ndio nikawa nimedunua nyumba, alafu sasa nikawa nime hiyo kazi nikapoteza. Obviously wezi ku drive hata ni Mungu tu sasa zile nilikuwa napeleka double decker bus imejaa watu 175 alafu watoto wanaenda shule watu wanaenda kazini na unajua ukiwa mlevi ama una hangover hata kama umechoka there is that place you are driving 20 kama 2 seconds una una una, una, una sinzia eh sasa imagine ningesinzia niingiza watu nigongeshe gari ama niingiza watu kwenye mto you know so it was god sasa eh sasa ndio nilinunua nyumba alafu ndio nikawa na house warming after maybe six months mm. asa vile anafanya house warm nimeita watu unajua nilikuwa na kikundi yangu tulikuwa kama watu 20 hata wasichana wote wako na rasta asa kule tu mabangi kila mapombe kila kitu yuko alafu sasa ndio um, that's where she comes in oh, so yeah. you attend the bash yeah um, probably a lot of stress and yes um, important and then the good thing with the de- deportation in uh, the, the detention centers in that country has jafungo kama jela kama za London so kuka hapo akasema mimi nimeka ninajua area nilikuja kwa hivyo kanipatia address ya kule nafa ku report for hours away but then nikakumbuka mtu tunajua in that country it was late at night so ninaweza lala kwake kabla ni travel kule nimeambiwa na gava niende so the following that uh, evening nika tunikapiga simu akanikujia nikaenda kwao wakaniambia ai na wanaenda bash na wanaka nini akaniko na stress um awaizi ni acha kwao mimi nikaambia mimi sitaki kuenda nimeokoka kwa sababu nimeokoka na saizi sina makata sikuwa sitaki kumess na god so no jo ile wakovu yani ukiwa na shida ndio unaona yani hapa hivi siezi mess in any way so wakasema awaizi ni acha so they insisted and i went to the bash and what did you say when you were welcoming people and sasa pale paka tuna DJ nikachukua microphone nikasema eh hey, ja amenipatia nyumba na sasa amenileta wife kwa nyumba <laughs> ya, yani kuna kitu nilimuona nikafeel yani nikafeel sijai feel na mtu mwingine and at this stage nilikuwa nimelala na madem alafu hata mind yangu ilikuwa atakuwa ioa msichana nikiwa that time nilikuwa atakuwa enjoy maisha maybe nikiwa 50 years ni wa kadem ka 20 Tuanze maisha. Kwa sababu wako wote hapo alikuwa amelala nao. Uh-huh. Eh alikuwa amelala nao. So yani uh, as in it was so strange cause even he approached me immediately. Manzo ni wife yangu. Uh, Aya. Yeah. Ana mimi namwangalia na muona yani huyu nampeleka wapi? Hata uh, yeah, picha yangu iko like huyu anaweza pelekea maadhi really. <laughs> And she the reason nilimpenda na nikaanza kumpasu. Ye yeah, ndio alikuwa msichana wa kwanza kuniambia hapana the first lady eh aliniambia hapana sasa mimi nikampa su nilikuwa nataka kujua kwani what's this special mm. thing amebeba au yeah. wengine hawana sasa yeah. nikaanza kumpa su na mpa su na kumbuka hiyo siku aliniambia eh, Psalm 37 for the days how delight in the lord and he shall give you the desires of your nikarudi nje nikawasha bangi kwanza nikachoma kasema ja yani eh, hii ni gumu <laughs> Eh. Asa ndio tukarudi tulikuwa tunaongea tu. So unajua iko kwa nyumba yangu lazima aniongeleshe. So um, alikuwa na osha vyombo. Alikuwa na huyu hata kunyu hata vuti dinia. Naona huyu unajua sijaona this kind. This kind I've never seen before. <laughs> so uh, na wako na my mom saa hiyo anaongea, you know. Sasa ni kwa na alafu kwa chini ya Madrid by then he limtek it kona museni mhandi but eyes zingine zote akai mhandi yani when he looked straight into my eyes yeah. there's something that caught me yeah. uh, to be honest something caught me but not in the area ti anaweza kuwa bwana or because of imagine vile yuko but when you're praying you talk to mama katikati na barizi wakati uko naomba what you show you a very different picture of him now after that day after he he kept pursuing me yeah. i began to pray yeah. 
I said, this, this thing, I have to take it to God in prayer. Yeah. And I began to intercede, I began to pray. And every night that I prayed, mm -hmm. I saw him in a dream. Mm -hmm. Every night, he wearing a suit, just the way he looks. Mm -hmm. Mara no na suit, ya black, ya red, ya yellow, na even though you van, as a fine color. So, I love him when I preach here, thousands of people. Thousands, multitude of people. No, 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 si juu anything na hakunipata nikika ati poa that time nimedipotiwa na watu ka track suit yeah. ka jeans sika yata poa in the physical yeah. so si, si kuva, have kuva attractive very attractive ndio ani desire yeah. 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 Wow. so at that point when i seek to god god akanionesha uyu the next thing god told me um, this is an assignment you will need to reach him when kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa nishaanza kwenda single meetings na how to treat a man but this guy is empty Wow, this guy is empty. At, at, at what point did you say yes? Did you get gone again? Now, um, when she went, I was like, four hours away. I had to change uh, phone numbers that morning in Abash. By the way, I was like, I went and I realized that I was like, I was like, I was like, until like a eh, like a movie slow motion as I look at a number to Kanza could keep in contact as a lot of Kim Katia and Rushama Mister Rim Stari the Mobia VP Kadosho Nini and a little Dishan Yambia you know uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness all these things are Ah, asa bibi ni kanza because I remember I'm searching and I'm searching nimejaribu mm. Islam nimejaribu Rastafarianism I'm still empty I've not had an encounter I'm just bado niko empty sija satisfaction mm. asa um, ukanionde tunde movie nikakata nikam kama I don't do movies yes eh, nikam nunudia passion of Christ as a gift wow. ile movie ya passion of Christ mm. Did you watch your movie? It just broke me that there was somebody that died for me. There is somebody that you know Alienda through all that. Allah for me be happy. Niko, in fact, ni kama niko apostle Paul akiwa saizo liko itwa soul na persecute watu wake instead na na onyesha watu kuvuta mabangi na kufanya vitu viba viba bala kulidu watu towards him. You know. So that was my breaking point. Eh, nikaona hapana hasa nilikuwa napeleka kama mama yangu eh, kanisa na mdrop hasa from that point nikaanza kuona god channel na nikaanza kuenda kanisa so on the 27th 2004 october 1 pm to be precise nikaokoka Wow, yeah. to God. Mm -hmm. Ooh, thank God that you're able to stand for God. That's right. Yeah. And that is a very beautiful, I mean, lesson to the women. That it's not like we're talking, it's not about what you say, it's not about actually even how much you try to portray or show. Mm -hmm. Na vile vile kata katika matamshi, matamshi yako, eh, upate kupendeza Yesu. Kata wanaume, usi ukijipatiana, like her testimony is a big encouragement and a, a, a testimony of how a true woman should just carry herself. Mm. Because then his life turns around. Yes. Kidogo tunona masayetu ya mendelea kusonga songa mbele, eh, siju ni ongena Mr. Producer tuongeze episode nyingine. <laughs> Na kumbia testimony mekua ya ajabu sana. At what point do you get married? Um, not long after that, mm -hmm. not long after that, mm -hmm. was for six, six months. months. Yes. Yeah, six months. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. And yeah. now it's been how many years? It's been 11 years. Wow. I with three children, two girls and one boy. You yes. We are the senior pastors of uh, Jubilee Christian Church yes. in uh, East London, United Kingdom. We serve under Bishop Alan Kuna and Reverend Kathy Kuna. Mm. And uh, it is the biggest, it is the most fastest growing church in Europe. Amen. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if somebody is coming to the UK, make sure you come and join us and your life will never be the same again. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, 
<laughs> I am so blessed by this testimony and by this couple. Thank you so much for creating time to be together with us in your busy schedule. Thank you. Ah, to the glory of God. Kumbuka ushuda ambao uko nao sio wako wa wengine ili wengine wapate kuelewa mahali Mungu amekutoa so they can be encouraged and uplifted. Mm-hmm. Well, that is their story. God has been good they're now pastoring. It does not matter where you come from. It does not matter the kind of pattern or foundation you come from. God is able to break that and make you what he created and ordained you to be. You are a treasure. You are a chosen generation. God loves you. And if you search him with the whole of your heart, he will break every limitation in your life and will cause you to excel and to be the star you were created to be. We love you and we hope and expect to be with you next time same station same place we love you treasure love is a beautiful thing to love you is a gift from above love is a beautiful thing how we love you to the end of the world for better for worse till death do us part Maisha and Noah. The second part of the second episode, Maisha and Noah. My good name is Asuko Aroe. And we have this lovely couple. What is your name? Moja Komoja. We want to raise a couple of detention center. Yes. A couple of detention center. Alafu kangalia makarata si zangu. Waka realize ni shayi in the Republic of Ireland. It's another country. So they asked the Kenyan government, kama wani deport Kenya. Kenya waka nikata. Assignment you depressed kulia God 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 akaniongeanisha usiku moja kanalia ukiendelea kulia utalia for long utakaa huko for long anza kuhubiri right there kwa detention ndio nilijua niko na call eh nikaanza kuhubiria watu huko kwa detention wana feel wale wana deportiwa au wanarudishwa bila kitu wana that it's the end of life and i remember god aliniambia huko ai wewe hakuna kule unaenda nijui ile moto nimekuwa nayo sasa ya kuhubiri a mimi ndio nawapatia hope na mimi ndio na need hope so god spoke to you right there right there and then i started my assignment right there and then within a few days i was released nikapelekwa and siku rilizwa nilipasiwa into the republic of ireland government wakanieka wakanipeleka hitro airport nikapea na kwa police wa wa republic of ireland because according to me i was a criminal how did nilifikaje ireland na mkata si gani na wakicheki hii na wacheki za kenya aziendi poa so police wakapelekwa nikapelekwa sasa kule boko shanti una shanti baada sasa kule kule ina shanti kule na zichoma tu mabangi na ma, na kukuaka eh, na madem saa nilikuwa ni kuna kitu yote ilikuwa na skat nilikuwa avuka nayo to one point within 24 hours eh, walikuwa wamevaa skat one within 24 hours eh, sasa nilikuwa nimepita nao unajua ni kama spirit vile umesema unaopata huyu hata akiwa muindi akiwa mchinese akiwa mu, 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 mu west africa mu east africa bado unataka Asa uh, at one point nikalala na msichana ametoka Zimbabwe. Alafu nikasiku anajua kona AIDS. Nikalala naye alafu that time ikuwa kama siku hizo unajua with the same day kama uko positive ama negative. Sasa ilikuwa wiki mbili of waiting. And within that time sina faith jokoka. Nilikuwa nimeanza kugawa vitu zangu na kuambia watu kwa heri. Na that point bado unafanya kazi kama dereva wa basi. Bado unafanya kazi lakini ilikuwa anafanya kama dereva wa basi. Alafu sasa wakaanza is uh, system mkienda asubuhi mnapimwa mkojo for drugs and alcohol. Sasa vile nilipopimwa eh, mkojo wangu ikaonyesha ikakuja positive eh, cannabis bangi na ikakuja niko na pombe na cocaine. How are you surviving? How are you putting your life together? unajua sasa ile ni addiction na addiction ina una need to get money to feed this addiction kwa sababu sasa at this time nilikuwa natuma pesa nyumbani alafu was earning very well i was earning kama kila wiki nilikuwa na 1000 pound which is about uh, 100 and 
140,000 shillings. So nilikuwa natuma pesa na pia mimi nilikuwa na habit ya cocaine ningetumia kama 20,000 shillings every week. Ningetumia kama 15,000 na bangi. Ningetumia pombe ningeingia pahali watu walikuwa basi. Leo tutapewa. I could spend even 500 pound in one night. Yes. Mm. Yes. 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 But sasa by the grace of God result ikakuja nikawa niko negative. Hata kama wewe unatutizama na wewe ni mgonjwa uko positive God can heal you. Amen. And preserve he can heal you. Yes. Uh-huh. Sasa ndio nilinunua nyumba alafu ndio nikawa na house warming after maybe six months mm. asa vile anafanya house warming nimeita watu unajua nilikuwa na kikundi yangu tulikuwa kama watu 20 hata wasichana wote wako na rasta asa kule tu mabangi kila mapombe kila kitu yuko alafu sandio um, that's where she comes in oh, so yeah. you attend the bash yeah I'm probably out of, out of stress and yes I'm important and then the good thing with the dep- deportation in uh, the, the detention centers in that country has jafungo kama jela kama za London so kukapo akasema mimi nimeka ninajua area nilikuja kwa hivyo address ya kule nafa ku report four hours away but then nika nikakumbuka mtu tunajua la, in that country it was late at night so ninaweza lala kwake kabla ni travel kule nimeambiwa na gava niende So the following that uh, evening nika tunikapiga simu akanikujia nikaenda kwao wakaniambia ai na wanaenda bash na wanakani na kaniko na stress um awaizi niacha kwao mimi nikaambia mimi sitaki kuenda nimeokoka kwa sababu nimeokoka na size sina makata sikuwa sitaki kumess na god so na joile wako viani ukiwa na shida ndio unaona yani hapa hivi siezi mess in any way so wakasema awaizi niacha so they insisted and I went to the bash and what did you say sasa pale paka tuna DJ nikachukua microphone nikasema eh hey, ja amenipatia nyumba na sasa ameniletea wife kwa nyumba <laughs> ya, yani kuna kitu nilimuona nikafeel yani nikafeel sijai feel na mtu mwingine and at this stage nilikuwa nimelala na madem alafu hata mind yangu ilikuwa atakuwa ioa msichana nikiwa that time nilikuwa atakuwa enjoy maisha maybe nikiwa 50 years ni wa kadem ka 20 tuanze maisha kwa madem wako wote hapo alikuwa amelala nao eh alikuwa amelala nao so yani uh, as in it was so strange cause even he approached me immediately manzo ni wife yangu aya na mimi namwangalia na muona yani huyu nampeleka wapi hata picha yangu iko like huyu naweza pelekea madhe really and she, the reason nilimpenda na nikaanza kumpasu ye yeah, ndio alikuwa msichana wa kwanza kuniambia hapana the first lady eh aliniambia hapana sasa mimi nikampasu nilikuwa nataka kujua kwani what's this special mm. thing amebeba hao yeah. wengine hawana sasa yeah. nikaanza kumpasu na mpasu na kumbuka hiyo siku aliniambia eh, Psalm 37 says days are delight in the lord and he shall give you the desires of your nikarudi nje nikawasha bangi kwanza nikachoma kasema ja yani eh, ni gumu <laughs> Hasa <laughs> ndio tukarudi tulikuwa tunaongea tu so unajua yuko kwa nyumba yangu lazima aniongeleshe so um, alikuwa na osha viombo alikuwa na osha viombo hata kunyu hata vuti dinia naona huyu unajua sijaona this kind this kind i've never seen before <laughs> so uh, na wako na my mom sasa hiyo anaongea you know sasa ni kwa na alafu but kwa chini ya madredi By then he didn't check it kona muse ni mhandi but eyes zingine zote akai mhandi yani when he looked straight into my eyes yeah. there's something that caught me yeah. uh, to be honest something caught me but not in the area ti anaweza kuwa bwana or because of imagine vile yuko but when you're praying you talk to makachuko na barizi wakati uko naomba what mm. show you a very different picture of him now after that day after he, he kept pursuing me yeah. i began to pray yeah. I said this this thing I have to take it to God in prayer yeah. and I began to intercede I began to pray and every night that I prayed I saw him in a dream every night 
like he wearing a suit just the way he looks mm-hmm. mara naona suit ya black ya red ya yellow na even though you've another fine color so <laughs> alafu nilikuwa naona akipreach ya thousands of people mm-hmm. thousands multitude of people naona nikikuja kuona in the physical man the picture doesn't rhyme mm-hmm. what i see in the in the spirit so a husband a young lady you're trusting god for a husband any husband ni god upeana and you've got to get him on your knees and keep your way straight sababu if you have compromised yes. you have compromised your destiny yes. siku muonesha nina quality ya wife by the way i was very rude siku anas siku anataka kuata bwana yangu yeah. na siku muonesha ati mimi naweza kupikia naweza kufanya nini in fact niko anamwambia sijui kupika uh-huh. sijui anything uh-huh. na hakunipata nikika ati poa that time nimedipotiwa na vatu ka track suit uh-huh. ka jeans sika yeye atapoa in the physical yeah. so si kuva have kuva attractive very attractive ndio ani desire Okay. Wow. So at that point when I seeked God God akanionesha uyu the next thing God told me I'm um, this is an assignment mm-hmm. you need to reach him when kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa nishaanza kwenda single meetings na jua how to treat a man but this guy is empty wow this guy is empty at, at, at what point did you say yes? did you get born again now um when she went alikuwa anaka kama 4 hours away sasa tuka change uh, phone numbers that morning ya bash By the way alikuwa karibu kuenda nika realize sijachukua simu nikaanza kumfuata goja until nika eh ilikuwa kama movie slow motion asa likachukua namba tukaanza ku keep in contact sasa zote nikimkatia narusha mabistari mstari na mwambia vipi kadosho nini haya nanirudisha niambia you know uh, uh, seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness all these things are Ah, hasa mimi nikaanza because I remember I'm searching and I'm searching. Nimejaribu Islam, nimejaribu Rastafarianism, I'm still empty. I've not had an encounter. I'm just bado niko empty sija satisfaction. Hasa um ukaniona tu ile movie nikakata nikamwambia I don't do movies. Yes. Nikamnunulia Passion of Christ as a gift. Ile movie ya Passion of Christ. Nili watch your movie it just broke me that there was somebody that died for me there is somebody that you know alienda through all that alafu mimi hapa niko in fact ni kama niko apostle paul akiwa saizo alikuwa aitwa soul na persecute watu wake instead na naonyesha watu kuvuta mabangi na kufanya vitu vibaya vibaya bala ya kulidu watu towards him you know so that was my breaking point Eh, nikaona hapana hasa nilikuwa napeleka kama mama yangu eh, kanisa na mdrop hasa from that point nikaanza kuona god channel na nikaanza kuenda kanisa so on the 27th 2004 october 1 pm to be precise nikaokoka Wow, yeah. to God. Mm-hmm. Ooh, thank God that you're able to stand for God. Yes, and your purpose is God and you can establish. And that is a very beautiful, I mean, lesson to the women. That it's not like we're talking. It's not about what you say. It's not about actually even how much you try to portray or show. Hata kwa mwili wako wa kuvalia pengine msunusu na kanu suuchi. Lakini jaribu uvalie kwa njia ya kuonesha ustaarabu na vile vile kujistiri ili uweze kuonekana kuwa mwanamke mwenye heshima na vile vile hata katika matamshi matamshi yako eh upate kupendeza Yesu hata wanaume usio kujipatiana like her testimony is a big encouragement and a, a, a testimony of how a true woman should just carry herself mm. because then his life turns around yes. kidogo tunaona masaa yetu yameendelea kusonga songa mbele eh sijui niongee na Mr Producer tuongezee episode nyingine <laughs> Nakwambia testimony imekuwa ya ajabu sana. At what point you get married? Um, not long after that. Mm-hmm. Not long after that. Mm-hmm. Was for six months. Yes. Yeah, six months. Uh, so, yeah. 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 And now it's been how many years in marriage? It's been seven years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, three children to God's mother. Glory to God. Yeah. And not only are you Mr. and Mrs. Cheke, yes. but you are pastoring a church. Tell us about it for just a minute or 30 seconds. We are the senior pastors of uh, Jubilee Christian Church in uh, East London, United Kingdom. We serve under Bishop Alan Kiuna and Reverend Kathy Kiuna. And uh, it is the biggest it is the most fastest growing church in Europe. Amen. Yeah. So if somebody is coming to the UK, make sure you come and join us and your life will never be the same again. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, 
<laughs> I am so blessed by this testimony and by this couple. Thank you so much for creating time to be together with us Thank in your you busy schedule. Thank you. Uh, to the glory of God. Kumbuka ushuda ambao uko nao sio wako wa wengine ili wengine wapate kuelewa mahali Mungu amekutoa so they can be encouraged and uplifted. Well, that is their story. God has been good. They're now pastoring. It does not matter where you come from. It does not matter the kind of pattern or foundation you've come from. God is able to break that and make you what he created and ordained you to be. You are a treasure. You are a chosen generation. God loves you. And if you search him with the whole of your heart, he will break every limitation in your life and will cause you to excel and to be the star you were created to be. We love you and we hope and expect to be with you. Next time, same station, same place. We love you and treasure. Love is a beautiful thing. To love you is a gift from above. Love is a beautiful thing. How we love you to the end of the world. For better, for worse, till death do us part. Oh, 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 oh,